Hi there, welcome to Getting It Done North of Seven. My name is Roland. Today I'm going to talk to you about cabinet doors in your kitchen, or it could be in a vanity of your bathroom or anything. What was going on was my cabinet door was staying open like this much, and it wouldn't close anymore. This one over here. So it was staying open like this. I thought maybe it was an adjustment I had to make on the hinge. One of these hinges here but I tried different adjustments and it wouldn't work. So then I thought, well, maybe the hinge itself is broken. So this is what I found out. Okay, so I got the cabinet door back on. As you can see, it closes now. So now I have to adjust the alignment. See up there, it's a thinner gap. And down here, it's a thicker gap. So I have to adjust it so that the door goes more this way and then we'll see where we are from there. On the sides, yeah, I think it'll be fine then. We'll, we'll find out. We'll just make an adjustment on these screws here, like those screws there, and those ones up there. All right, so these two screws here are your mounts for your cabinet door. There's this hinge here, and then there's the one at the top. If you loosen these, I mean, you loosen these and loosen the two at the top, you can adjust the height of your door going up or down. All right, so say you have a big gap here at the bottom of your cabinet door or a tight gap, either one. You have to loosen this and you can manually move your door whichever way you want. And then same with the top, it's the same thing. You may have to adjust the top, but Let's just say that the gap was too small right here at the bottom of the door. So I'll loosen this and I already did this. I loosened it and I just pulled my door that way a little bit, snug it up and then I close the door and I come around and I check the gap on the other side of here. So now I have a problem with a gap here and here at the top. And what it is, is the gap is too small here, or too big here. So now I'm going to go to this screw and adjust it here. So if your gap here is too big, you want to turn clockwise on this screw here. And the same for the top, whatever one you have to adjust. If the gap here is too big, you want to turn this counterclockwise and it'll draw your door towards you. Clockwise away counterclockwise towards you, towards this way. And the same with the top. So I did both now. And you can see the gap is even here. The door is closing, everything is good. So just remember also when you're doing these jobs, like I had to change the hinge on the cabinet door. When you tighten these screws up, don't over tighten them. Like you can snug them up, but don't over tighten them because you risk the chance of stripping the, the, the wood on here. The screw will just eat through it and then it won't hold anymore. Then you'll have to go to a bigger screw, not longer, but just bigger in diameter. But the safe bet is use a screwdriver because if you use a cordless drill gun, you're probably gonna run that thing really tight and you'll strip the wood that the screw bites into to hold your, your hinge mount and you don't want to do that. So just use a just screwdriver, do it by hand. So I hope this tutorial helped you. Like I said, we had a broken hinge to start with, with, and the way I figured it out is I took the hinge off and there was no spring in that hinge. So your, your hinge has to have some sort of spring in it. So I guess the spring broke in it, and I showed you how to replace it. One thing I didn't show you was I replaced it with hinges I could find at my local hardware store. These holes here were too small for the screws that go in to the cabinet side. So I just took a drill and uh, I took an electric drill and a drill bit just about the same size as my, my screw that goes through here because the screws would just not even go in. So I just took it and I ran, put this in a vise not squeeze it too hard to crush it. And I ran the drill bit through, ran it through a few times just to make it big enough so that the screw will go through here. That's all I had to do. You may not even run into that problem, but I did. 
So I hope this tutorial helped you. If it did, hit that like button. It really helps me out. Subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment below. And we'll see you on the next video. Take care. Thanks for watching. Click the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. And have a great day.